Hi there, this is the Furry Animal from Ink Block Creations and I'm going to show you this prototype again where you have all the joins. I'm going to just show you this piece here. There's a line, it's a separate piece there that's joined and where it's joined here as well. It's also joined there and joined there. I wanted to do is I wanted to make it all one piece and I wanted to bend it the same as this. On the prototype I managed to do a kind of bend in the way and a bend out the way going right, right, right across the groove there. So here we have, this is the old templates and they're all separates and they were all cut separate as is. This is where you get all the joins from. Okay. So I'm trying to eliminate all the joins on this and cut it as one piece and end up with a kind of a nice smooth groove effect on the prototype. So here's the new template before the lines marked on for the, the cuts for the angle cuts or the angle bends, should I say not cuts but bends. So the old versus the new and this new one gives you this. So here we have it. You can see it's nice, clean, and it gives a kind of rounded, a kind of slight rounded effect, and it's it's quite nice. This disc gets bent back in again. There is another piece. Oops, I get my hand out of the way. There's another piece that goes in here. That's this piece that goes in here. That's to be bent, incorporated into it, as well with a piece to fill in the gap there. You'll see the gap. Um, this little piece in here is a gap. So, working out all the angles. So, I've put the pieces up together. You've seen the prototype. I've made a slight mistake. Uh, this end piece here, this end piece here, I've cut it at the wrong angle. It's meant to be there 15 degrees the opposite way. But I'll, I'll just use this as a prototype. I, I thought it was going to be quite tricky to do but I managed it so it's all all cut from one piece from one template using a bandsaw there's a piece missing and this piece goes in here as well so I think a straight cut going across the way that's a straight cut across there so I'm just going to pause the video on it a little bit and you can see how smooth that looks. At, at first, I thought it was going to be quite tricky. It's quite messy on the inside. Remember, this is a prototype. Um, so I've got a template to cut it, this piece again and then do it correctly. But I'm just going to use this as reference points because it's good to make a prototype. If you don't have a prototype, then you will go wrong. So I'd like to give thanks out to Jamie who is on uh, YouTube, and X Robots, that's Jamie, who's on uh, YouTube, who I follow all the time, I watch all the videos, and Jamie, I've been watching you do the hand plate thing, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing the same thing with the alginate, and then copy it from there, and to see what I can do with that. I was thinking of doing the whole hand uh, because I want to do the clay uh, for the fingers and that. I see that you used uh, a 3D printer and it was pretty neat. I'd love, I love to afford a 3D printer but unfortunately I can't afford those kind of things. And I'm trying to visualize myself here at the same time. So Jamie um, was a great guy. He does helmet, a lot of helmets and hand plates. Um, I'm sure he does the, the foam armour as well or he does fibreglass um, I watch a lot of his videos and X-Robots I know I'm repeating myself but I like to give thanks to him uh, for the inspiration of um, how to do um, certain things with um, as opposed to foam and using the alginate and plaster casts and everything else so I hope I bedroomed myself okay. Now I'm trying to explain the angle cuts. Um, 
as it is, I'll put this piece of to this piece to say this is the prototype. I mean this is the prototype. You have your first cut, which is here. So basically you've got to cut a nice you cut your line in the back of the foam, so you get a nice line in the back of the foam, and then you'll cut at an angle into that line, 45 degrees that way, and then something like a 15 degrees that way. You don't need to go too much. I found if you go 45 both ways, is there's too much of a gap. So you need to be 15 degrees on one side and 45 on the other. This one was just a straight cut. Because you're fold, you're folding you're folding out the way. So there's the first the first one with the 45 degree cut and the 15 degree cut there. This one's just a straight line to be cut and then pulled open. And this one here it says it's a 25 degree cut. Um, so basically just, just cut a 45 degree and a 15 degree and the same there is a 45 degree cut and a 15 degree cut. You don't want to do two 45s into the line so you cut your line first. So uh, this this piece here you cut your line first in a straight line down as far as you can go. You don't want to go too far down and then you cut 45 on one side and 15 on the other. Uh, just depending on uh, your, your cuts. I think it's advisable to cut the 45 if I put this, this piece here is, is joined to get this is cut as one piece like that so that's a one piece there so just a matter of cutting a 45 degree cut in there and then it folds it should fold okay I'm just going to do some close-ups of um, the pieces. I can just get a nice bit of light onto it. So there's no joins on it at all, apart from, obviously apart from this piece here has been cut out and this piece to be folded in. But apart from that, it, it, make, it makes a smoother finish and it's the right angles as well. On the prototype, it, it lies at a slight angle up the way from right to left. It goes up the way. So I've managed to, if I just hold this with my knees, I managed to do a straighter cut. So it's just a matter of checking the angles on it. And referring to your paper cura files as well. Um, I get a lot of questions on what foam I'm using. I'm just using the foam mats. I suppose this, I suppose this piece goes in here like this. And there's a little piece that goes in there. That's that little piece here. So there we have it. I'll, even, I'll show you the inside. Um, it's a bit messy because what I should have done is just spot glued like a like from there to there, just glue it and then fold it, let it dry and then glue it a little bit in here, I'll fold it in and a spot glue here with the hot glue gun and then once that's done then fill it in, you see that I've done that, it's just, you learn, you learn from experience, so a couple of spot welds to hold it in and then just run the hot glue right across it and you get some a neater finish, but as, as I say you don't, you don't need the inside to be seen. It's just the foam. So that's that part, that's the back of the leg um, on the prototype. I have made um, a blue foam, I sold them on eBay, but uh, I wanted to do my own personal one, so I'm trying to do it with less uh, joins, lights of this piece and this piece. Is, no, I suppose it couldn't be. No, it's quite hard. See, I've done the groove there, see, I've done a nice smooth join there. I've done that so much on the foam that I thought, could I get away with joining all these pieces together? And also, also you can see there's different different mats and you can see all the joins. And this is a, it's a groove to go here. I've explained this in other videos, but basically what I'm what I'm looking for to do is is get these smooth bends here, so there's no joins. Like, there has to be a join here and there has to be a join there. You've just got to accept that. But I'll, I'll find ways of trying to do folds. So on the template, I'll put this piece back in. It's actually this piece is, is, is on the foam together as one piece. 
So that's the whole piece that gets cut. Um, then that's it. You can look at this. And that's it. Well, that's about 10 minutes. That's, that's enough for a video. I'll just give it another 20 odd seconds to like the look at the. You can see where the joins are. It just doesn't look right as opposed to the, the, the smooth. It does give a, a much a much cleaner finish. So that's the back of the leg. Yeah. Okay, so I'd like to thank you very much. It's come up for nearly 11 minutes. And I'll fire this on YouTube. And thanks, Jamie. You're, you're a great pal. Great person. And also the xrobots.com. Give them a, a little buzz on YouTube. Good videos. Thank you.